Hi and welcome to my random ruminations. So yesterday Twitter blew up with the hashtag the sounds of sodomy. And it kind of blew up in the face of the people who tried to create it. And I myself being a gay transgendered woman decided I should put my two cents in. So channeling the dual muses of Simon and Garf uh, actually the trinary muses of Simon, Garfunkel and Weird Al, I present to you a poem. Said poem could potentially be recited to the tune of Sounds of Silence, though I personally would not advocate that because that would cause a copyright takedown. We would never do that. Regardless, I read. <coughs> the Sounds of Sodom E. Hello, Anal, our old friend. We've come to visit you again. Come now, man, the lube is seeping. As I lie here, my heart rate is leaping. As my husband tries to get a hard on. My clit I strum. I want to make the sounds of Sodom. E. My restless wife most every night likes to give me such a fright. She says the strap-on isn't working. I'll have to make do with plain fucking. But then she stands up and I drool as it sways. My prostate says, let's make the sounds of Sodom E. You see that priest over there? They say he's really awfully queer. He took it hard in the seminary. Now he gives it in the vestry. To little kids who kneel as they shake, they know what it takes to make the sounds of Sodom. E. Fool said I, you should really know why ancient Sodom had to go. The land itself wasn't stable. To support a city, it wasn't able. It wasn't cause some guys needed to bum. Although it's fun. To make the sounds of sodomy. And now we get to the gays. You know, they do it many ways. Mouth bum and the JJ. Yes, some will take it any which way. But so will you, you fucking hypocrites. You are such twits. To fear the sounds of sodomy. It's from the heart, dudes. It's from the heart. Talk to you all again soon. Bye.